your decisions be careful about decisions be careful the decisions that derail people don't sound they are not usually very big decisions they can start little but over time the consequence of those decisions if they were to turn the hand of the clock they wish they never did it but you know a lot of times the same pride that made them make that kind of decision is the same pride that will make them that will stop them from coming back to the place where they can make a change relationships can change you especially for some of you who i mean apart from church and what you're doing now for some of you, you come out of university but now you're in the work environment you know so you go out there you're a young person you are meeting other young people listen to me listen to me in that work environment you must maintain you must wear your cloth you must wear your garment of righteousness you must maintain yourself you are a christian because listen to me it will start with bros let's hang out now that's where it starts let's have some lunch take those lunch as your opportunity to share the gospel don't don't cover your bible if it is lunch hour and um we're doing something it's prayer time 12 o'clock bring out your phone to turn on something and say brother can we just take 15 minutes and let's pray you can look at you and say pray what what this hot afternoon you say yes because you know what that lunch one day if you continue that way i've seen guys who have been initiated into cults in their workplace tongue talking guys it matters the people you put up you know you know um your heart is very interesting the heart is very interesting you can place someone high in your heart and your heart will hold on to that it matters the people you place high in your heart today in social media you don't even know you don't even need to know the people personally you just need to follow them you follow them online then you 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 look you are you're putting them in front of you as role models it won't just stop in the dressing very soon the lifestyle will follow who understands what i'm saying very soon the lifestyle will follow in love world you don't need to look for fashion icon inside love world you have fashion icons you don't need to look for lifestyle icons inside love world you have lifestyle icons you have people that you can look at and model your life after even if your fashion you can look at them and model your fashion after if it is music you can look at them and model your music after be careful relationships the next thing decisions decisions in talking about decisions you know um dickness so many times people don't know when demons talk to them I'm serious. So many times people don't know when they are being influenced and spoken to by demons. And for many Christians, it may not come from any external person. You think it is your thought, but it was never your thought. It was never your thought. Sometimes people just feel a dissatisfaction. From nowhere you were you were you were in your church you were everywhere carrying equipment helping one day a thought will just cross your mind what is the meaning of all this that's where it started then you sit with the thought then you are thinking you are thinking you are thinking hmm but that court is not paying me i need to go to lagos then you are thinking then you are thinking as you are thinking your phone rings hello Bro, Safa, your friend from Lagos has called. Ah, there's an opportunity for you. There's an opportunity here. There's this, 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 this. You were not planning to go to Lagos until this happens. Then suddenly you make that trip. You know one of the things I learned also? As soon as I got in touch with purpose, my movement, I was not... You know, I say some people just get up and just travel, just get up and just move. No no and what i found out is this i found out is this when you're traveling inside when you're traveling inside forget the external travel 
external travel will come and be meeting you i have seen people who pursued things they've traveled all around and i meet them and i'm meeting them maybe i'm in the uk or maybe i'm in the us and i'm talking to them and i'm wondering you still have not gotten this thing it's been 30 years they lived in australia they've gone to canada they've gone to the us now they're in the uk what are you looking for this so-called greater life this so-called better life when better life was all the while inside you all the while inside you all the while inside you the third thing that can change your life pastor said actions 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 god's word doesn't just teach you god's word provides boundaries for you provides boundaries for you such that the word of god will not allow you to do certain things when you start relating with the wrong people when you start making the wrong decision it will ultimately culminate in some wrong actions and brother actions can change destinies I have someone, you know, I, when I talk like this, sometimes I have a, so many stories. She's, she's gone now. She's gone to be with the Lord. But this lady was so gifted musically, gifted, powerful, so gifted, so gifted. Then I asked her to go to this place to serve. She decided to go to that place to serve. And while serving, she got involved with someone who she should not have gotten involved with, but never spoke. That relationship eventually got her pregnant, moved her out of that place, moved her somewhere else. One day I just heard, she's dead. How did she die? Funny, stupid story. Didn't make sense. Such a bright light. Such a powerful future. I remember a lady. She was one of my top leaders. I remember I was crying. I was much younger then. I don't think you should marry this guy. I don't think you should. How? How? God has a future for you. Nowadays, I don't cry anymore. And I'm like this. Did you say you're going? Mm. Okay. But then, you should do it. Then, funny enough, she took my crying. I can't help it. I can't help it. I said, I can't help it. I can't help it. Who was it? Somebody from China. The last time, listen, listen to me, listen to me. The last time someone called me, said, have you heard? I said, what is it? Say she's insane. Before that time, she called me because the man was rich. She was talking to me. She was out of the country and she said, I have everything, but I'm not happy. I said, what do you mean? He said, God's calling upon my life. I said, which one? Is it the one you put in the cooler? Which one? He said, I have everything, but I'm not satisfied. I said, what do you mean? I know what she means, but I'm just... The last time I heard about her, she was insane. And plenty of stories. You know, in Africa, when a man is very rich and the wife gets mad, you can complete the remaining story. 